Well, this movie hasn't exactly aged very well, or maybe it was never good in the first place. Um, it's an entertaining movie. Kind of, you know, a turn-your-brain-off flick. But, um, honestly, it's not as good as I remembered, and there is a lot of problematic stuff in it. Um, not really the gay character. I know he's stereotypical. But I personally didn't really have a problem with that. Um, though that doesn't mean that I speak for the whole gay community. But myself, I didn't I didn't think Christian was too offensive in this movie. Um, there's some jokes here and there that are really funny. The characters aren't always the most likable. They kind of throw them in positions... That don't make sense. Like the way she apologizes is so forced. Um, they shared a drop a slur at one point where she's trying to convince these two teachers to get together to improve her grades or some bullshit like that because he'll be happier and nicer. And um, she describes herself by using the R slur. By saying she grabbed the wrong coffee and then calling herself a slur. Um, we get a lot of young actors here. Like Paul Rudd is one of the kind of main characters in the movie. And we also get the dude that played John in um, the live action Garfield movies as another love interest. He's really sweet in this movie. I wish we would have got more of him. He seems like a really nice guy. Um... Paul Rudd is a kind of former stepbrother of the main character, Alicia Silverstone, who played Batgirl in Batman and Robin, and she's done other roles, but that is just what I'll always see her as, because Batman and Robin was a childhood movie of mine. Um, Alicia Silverstone has a pretty good performance. Um, she's so unlikable, but so funny at the same time. Um... But yet, her dad got divorced, so this guy technically isn't her stepbrother anymore, but he used to be, and she ends up getting with him romantically. I did not like that. Um, very weird. The movie ends with the two teachers that she helped in the beginning of the movie getting married, and her being in attendance and kissing her former stepbrother. Uh, just something else man it is kind of a fun movie but probably not something i'd watch again just because of some of the themes of the movie it was just a one-timer um something that was popular in the 90s a lot of people talked it up you know fun thing to see what everybody was talking about but not something i'd watch again